Lord. Right. Christ right. is not praying for everybody. Right. Ooh, right? Christ didn't come for everybody. Bring right. it up. If Christ came for everybody, right? Then the white man will live in harmony with us. But right. is the white man treating the Hispanics right? No. Nope. Bring it up. The, the white man is not treating the Hispanics right. The white man is killing us in the streets and all that. It's calling Israel a world with, without end. Bring it up. So when Christ said, I pray for them and not the world, that's talking about the Israelites. Hey. Because you go to church, right? No? Good. Good. Because why? The Christian church is teaching lies. Right. Yeah. I'll beat that. Come here. Come here. Oh, I want you. I, you about to say something good. I see you about to say something right, real right, right. good right now. Go ahead. Then I started speaking. I noticed I asked questions about it. Uh huh. They talk all around. They talk all around, right? Right. It makes it look like, oh, this is the same one thing, but then you can say something else. That's when I stop. Because they don't give you the actual definition of things. Right. Exactly. You understand? Know they don't talk around it. Did they, did they ever open this to answer your question? I really. You know, no, that's the difference. They might open and give you a verse or two, and then you nah, they didn't. If they didn't like give you a verse, did you understand the verse? No. See? No. Right? So now, what questions do you have? What's your name? I'm sorry. What's your name? Phil. Phil? Phil. Eli. What questions do you have? What is that? This is what I have to Where I know it's the Bible, it says. Uh, what about that John 3 6 Ah, let's get it. Yes. Yes. I want, I want John 3 16. Wake him up. It says something about not praying for the world. Okay. okay. So, a couple things that got twisted with that. Yes, yes. It didn't make no sense. So I asked him about it. He talked around like that. Alright. So now, we're going to give you... So, they start at first. John chapter 3. What verse they start at? 16, right? So, we're going to give you the entire thing. Wake up! Read verse 1. The book of John chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. There was a, na a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Go ahead. A ruler of the Jews. Stop, right? Christ was a Jew. Right. Nicodemus is a Jew. Right? Read. <laughs> the same came to Jesus by night. These are two Jews talking by night. You understand? Read. And said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Uh huh. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Read. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. Because you got to be renewed in your mind. Right. You understand? You have, that's what it means to be born again. Because there's a lot of lies and philosophies in this world. Right. That's what Christ is saying. You understand? You have to be renewed. You have to wake up that you are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Read. That a man, except a man be born again, mm -hmm. he cannot see the kingdom of God. That's why that guy walked off, because he wasn't born again in his mind. He still right. wanted kept on to the white man Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> he was not born again. That's why he, you can't be. You can't be. The word of God is an old bottle. He's already hardened in his sin. Read. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? They say, oh, I'm already have gray hair on my head. How can I be born again? That's talking about your mind. my right, sister right here. How you doing, my sister? Come on. Right Come on. Read this. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? Read. And be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, uh -huh. Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Read it. Read on. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That that is born of sin, because that's what our flesh calls us to do. That is born of sin is fleshly, read. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. That is that gonna keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. We're gonna apply. We're gonna listen to it and then we're gonna apply it. You right. understand? Read. 
Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it is listed. Come on, jump down to 10. Verse 10. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel? That, oh, thou a master of Israel. That means he, this is in house. These are the people on this sign right here. You understand? These are the people on this sign. Oh, thou a master of Israel, read. And knowest not these things? Read on. Verily I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen. Where you at? You Judah. That, that means God's praise. Bring it up. That's Bring a it up. tribe. Bring it up. You know who else came from Judah? Christ. Bring it out. King David. Bring it They was also Judah. Read. Verily I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen. Read. And ye receive not our witness. Go ahead. If I have told you earthly things, and ye if believe not. If you told carnal things, sinful things, read. <coughs> Go ahead. How shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? How are you going to believe if they tell you about what's in heaven, where, where the most high dwells? Read. And no man have ascended up into heaven, Read. but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Read. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So just like, my brother, Phil, just like Moses, Lifted up a serpent in the wilderness. What time did that happen? Bring it up. That happened in the Old Testament. Right. Christ is taking him back now. You understand? He threw him a parable in the beginning, but he's taking him back. The things that he knows, he's familiar with. Right. right. Read. Even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up. So, Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness for who? What people was in the wilderness? Bring it up. Israelites. The Israelites, right? He says, even so, the same way, what? Even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up. Just like the Son of Man. So if Christ is going to be lifted up in the cross, right? Who is he going to be for? Israel. Israel. It says the same exact way. Right. Now we're going to go on more. Read. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, uh -huh. but have eternal life. Who should believe? Because when you believe, you're actually doing too. Right. So you, you're you actually doing what Christ told you to do, right. which is of the Father. You understand? Read. Who, read. Yes, sir. Read it again. That whosoever believeth in him. Who, who's the whosoever? Yeah, yeah, it says whosoever, who's the whosoever? Israel, good, good. Now you keep it in the context of the, of the chapter. Now you, yup, read. But have eternal life, for God so loved the world. Now we're going to get to the scripture that the pastor twists. Wake him up. Now God so loved, spell love. Love. We hear the precept, we hear the verse. But we, did we ever read it from the Bible? So spell the word love. Love. L O D E D. What is the E D? What is E D? It's past tense. So who did God love in the past? Israel. Israel. That's the context. Let me get that. Let me prove that. Hosea. Eleven and one. Uh, Hosea 11 and 1. Because he didn't. When God took out the uh, Israel from the Egyptians, he killed the Egyptians. Right. Right? He killed that nation for Israel, right? So he only loved this particular race. Read this. The book of Hosea, chapter 11 and verse 1. Uh -huh. When Israel was a child, read. then Israelites, read. Then I loved him uh -huh. and called my son out of Egypt. He took us out of Egypt. Right. He, if, if God is so loving, he would have had Israelites and the Egyptians living in harmony, right? No. But he only loved one particular nation. Read, go back. Finish that up. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son. So who's the world that God loves? Bring it up. Say that again. Who's the world God loves? Israel. Right. Right. Read. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever... Who did Christ... Was, who was Christ lifted up? Show the world. Huh? Show the world. World. Give me world. Because there's different definitions of world. You understand? There's different definitions of world. You got cosmos, right, which is the whole entire world, and then we got a world specific for people. Water, you got the sea world, you understand? You got different types of worlds. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Israel, the Israelites is the only world that's going to be saved. Right. The people on this side is the only people that's going to be saved. Read. Saved. Read it again. But Israel shall Israel be saved. Shall be what? Saved. What? Saved. That's the same thing as salvation. Read on. In the Lord. Uh -huh. With an everlasting salvation. Go ahead. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without what? world. It's calling Israel a world what? without end. So when Christ said, I pray for them and not the world, that's talking about the Israelites. That's right. Read. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Christ only came for Israel. Right. They need the white man to come in their church. They need the Hispanic man to come in their church Bring and they out. take all their money. Bring it out. It pacifies them. It's a feel good doctrine. Right. You know when they play the and then your shoulders start moving? Right. That's what they do. And then right after they do all that, that's like hypnosis. Right after they do all that, that's what threw me off. You, you, you say one thing and then you bust me, you throw me off, you don't want to and tell me. Right. And you're not teaching, you throw one word and then you start to... They throw everything off. Wait, repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. They turn your music on it. They turn your music on, you feel good. I don't know what's going on. And after the hypnosis, after the music. You ain't learned nothing. After the pastor says it's your season, yeah, what do they yeah. do afterwards? Yeah, pass that damn plate. Yeah. Give me that money! Yeah. Give me that money! Yeah. He said, give me that money, I want that money! Right. And they feed you everything. They want everything to be inclusive. Yeah, I, want, I want the rest, I want the rest of that. Bring it out! Read that. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son. Christ only came for Israel. Right. The world is Israel. Read. That whosoever believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish but uh -huh. have everlasting life. That's the same exact thing that everlasting salvation. Right. This is everlasting salvation. The Bible identifies. The Bible is its own dictionary. Right. You don't got to go nowhere else. Right. You understand? You don't got to go nowhere else. Now give me that in John 17. Because he quoted, his question was in John 17. Okay. Well, we broke out John 3, 16. Because that's what the pastor brings. Okay. Right? Give me that. Book of John, chapter 17 and verse 9. I pray for them. Them is who? Israel. Read. I pray not for the world. The whole entire world. Because why? It's prophesied that two-thirds of Israel, the, the nations, will be destroyed. Right. Christ right. is not praying for everybody. Right. Ooh, right? Christ didn't come for everybody. Bring it out. If Christ came for everybody, right, then the white man will live in harmony with us. But right. is the white man treating the Hispanics right? No. Nope. Bring it out. The, the white man is not treating the Hispanics right. The white man is killing us in the streets and all that. Read. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, uh -huh. but for them which thou hast given me. Them that which God gave them was Israel. You right. understand? Read. For they are thine. They are thine. That means that the elect, the people that are supposed to be listening to the word and repenting, those are already ordained by the most high God. Yeah. Yeah.
by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is 